you, you were talking about shooting guns out of your pickup truck though. And that reminded me when I lived in Idaho, a guy I worked with was really, really into guns. And he was like, Hey dude, let's, let's go out shooting sometime. I know this really awesome place. And like, he's from there. He knew every area. He's like, it's really not that far, but it's secluded as shit. And it, it feels like you're in the middle of nowhere. Even when you hop back on the highway and you're at a Hardee's in two seconds, it's like, Oh cool. Let's do that. And so he and I, and a couple of his other friends, I didn't know getting his, his truck one day after we get off work and he, he supplied all his guns. He had a nice collection. That was, he was like, oh, doing that gun thing, which is very wholesome and nice as we're driving. He's like, and you're going to love this one because X, Y, Z, and I have this uh, accessory on it and this and that. And you know, he's one of those just so excited to do it. And uh, I was like, oh, this sounds awesome, dude. So we get out there, start loading everything up. He's explaining all the guns I'm not familiar with. And we start just popping these little targets, these little foam targets that we brought with us. And then we take a shotgun out and we have like a self thrower. So I'm heaving up. Uh, clays and shooting them having fun and then after maybe 30 35 minutes this like little you know those tracker cars those like old uh four trackers they're oh, like, short, like little crappy ones Geo but it was chevy maybe or something yeah it looked like a Geo tracker but not quite that shitty and it had like a little like light on top of it and it was driving out there and i was like what the hell is this and he kind of just sat there and watched us for a bit and the guy was like it's no big deal like i'm, I'm sure lots of people come out here to just shoot guns and in my head, then I'm like, we're the only people I've seen. <laughs> Matter of fact, I don't see anyone else out here. After a couple more minutes, the guy drives over and gets out. He's got like a security, like security slash almost like army looking is what my first thing was. And I was like, what the hell is this? And he walks up and he addresses my my, my friend who like does that. Like, you know, he's the, the guy who's brought us there. So he like goes to meet him out a few feet and the guy's coming up and the guy's like, hey, <laughs> what are you doing? We're like, he's like, we're, we're shooting guns. And he goes, yeah, yeah. You're doing it at an Air Force testing field. What are you doing here? And I was like, oh no. Like, am I going to get in trouble for this? I thought we were going to a fun this little This is a play. minefield. You know, <laughs> Air, Air Force testing field, apparently, is what it was. And the guy was very cool that my friend who brought me there is like, I'm so sorry, man. I've honestly, I've been out here like a dozen times before. I thought it was fine. And he's like, yeah, I, I guess a lot of people do. We don't see him that much. There's cans everywhere, but you got to get out of here. You can't be shooting guns on an air force base, basically. And even if it's in the middle of nowhere, because air force bases are apparently ginormous. Huge. And so, yeah, then we just hopped in and left. I just felt lucky that we didn't get like a ticket or something or whatever it would be because yeah, out in New Mexico, that was something I discovered that I'd never seen in Georgia because Georgia's rural for, for the most part, but it's not desolate. It's all owned. Like, Someone owns everything in the East coast. Yeah. And there's a Bureau of land management land out in the West. And I, I read something or watched a documentary once where they explained why that is and i don't even remember anymore but there are gigantic tracts of land out west that are just public lands mm -hmm. and i filmed a lot of videos out there where we would just pull off of an uh, a regular road like a two-lane hi uh, highway or whatever onto a dirt road and then we'd drive that dirt road out for five six miles and then we turn off of that onto what amounted to a path not a dirt road anymore and then we'd follow that for like 10 miles just out into like it looked like something from a clint eastwood movie you know just just it's more miles than you needed kyle we were going to shoot a minigun at a mountain so seemed like we needed to get one of a lot of miles okay we want as many miles as we could get hmm. and uh you know it was blowing shit up and and and, and shooting a lot of big stuff and there's nobody out there you know there, there's a the tagline um for the movie um aliens was or for alien is like no one can hear you scream in outer space and it was like no one can hear you fucking scream out here dude like mm -hmm. like like the, no one with there was no like i've been to places where you're like like out in texas at the uh the ox ranch like you'll get up on a hill and you'll look and look and you're like yeah 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 I think maybe that's a house way the yeah way over there like like mm -hmm. I don't know how far you can see off the top of a really tall hill when it's flat land forever but seemingly many miles yeah way over there that's a house or that's a that's a tower like a radio tower 
out in New Mexico, you'll be in places where it's like, you'll get up on top of a really tall hill and spin around 360 degrees and be like, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's no trace of human life. There's nobody out here with us. It's, it's, yeah. it's crazy. It's kind of cool. Like I definitely saw that in Idaho and I would go shooting in areas that were legal where it was like, oh my God, there's, I could just build a cabin out here and no one would find me That's ever. It, it stinks that North Carolina and the, the whole East Coast really doesn't have that. I don't know if Bureau of Land Management owns anything here. I, I feel like even the parks are easements onto people's properties and such. You know, they, they, they're, North Carolina and outside Raleigh has these nice like greenway trails where you can ride bikes and skate and whatever. People mm-hmm. walk their dogs. That's it seems to be like somebody's land or they just bought it and all they have is a little path and it's people's yards. You can see them as you're like kind of walking past them and nothing's unowned. In Georgia, mm-hmm. around uh, Elberton, Georgia, which is the granite capital of the world, it's also where that monument uh, was built by no one knows who mm-hmm. that tells you uh, like how to rebuild society in like a dozen languages and has like a has a compass and a calendar built into it, the big concrete mo- or big granite monument. Um, but there was like public hunting land there, which I I, I didn't re- usually go on to, but it was a huge tract of just public hunting land, really just a forest that anybody could go in and shoot deer out of. But it's nothing like what they've got out west. And with the the shooting, they're super comfortable with guns in New Mexico, like. You'd be driving down one of those desolate highways, and on the side of the road, there'd be a makeshift gun range. Just a little part where you could tell cars would pull off just off the road, like just right off on the, on the shoulder. And then there'd be a bunch of pop-up targets and, and like beer bottles and, and bullet, sh- bullet casings. Just mm. crazy. 